Hello there, I'm Kwong Ong. I'm a high school student and today I've got for you a past cat problem called routes. Let's get right into it. Judas Daily Run takes her through a garden and there's several paths through the garden, coming from the top left to the bottom right. Uh, she always runs the shortest distance, but likes variety. For each of the gardens to the right, how many different routes could Judith take? Uh, the thing we should probably notice is this sentence right here, because if you uh, play around with this problem for a minute or two, and while considering this fact, you'll soon realize that Judith will never run to the left, and she will never run upwards. So essentially our problem becomes counting the number of paths from the top left corner to the bottom right, only traveling right or down. So we're only asked to find the number of ways to get from here to here, but what we're going to do instead is count the number of ways to get from here to every single other cell in this uh, grid. So this may seem like we're arbitrarily forcing ourselves to do a lot more work than is necessary, but uh, this is actually like really helpful and I hope you can bear with me for a moment. So this right here is the number of ways to get from the start cell to the start cell. And this is such a trivial case that's not entirely obvious what the answer is, so please trust me on this. And if you do end up spending a couple of minutes on pen and paper, you'll realize that there's actually a lot of cells where there's exactly one way to get to them, uh, which I have marked. And as for these cells, there's two ways to get to them. Uh, you play around with this for a bit and you'll... There's a little bit of um, uh, pattern recognition software that's, that exists in all of our monkey brains. And it should be screaming at you right now that this cell right here is 2 plus 1 equals 3. Now, wait, wait a second. How do we get there? And how can we be sure that this method of counting, where we get the number of ways to get to a certain cell by counting the number of ways to get to the left cell and the upper cell, how can we be sure that this works? So are we over counting the number of ways to get to a certain cell? As in, is there a path that we're counting twice using this method? Well, the answer is no, because by definition, this is the number of ways to distinct number of ways to get to a certain cell, and uh, there's no way a cell can go through both of these two. So we're not overcounting, and are we undercounting? I.e., are there paths that go to this cell that we're somehow not including by doing the summation? And the answer is also no, because there's literally no other way to get to this cell other than through the left or through the top. So that means that this method of counting must be correct. To reiterate, uh, this 3 right here is the result of 0 plus 3. This uh, 4 right here is the result of 1 plus 3. So on, so forth, until we get our answer 6. Which corresponds to a brute force that you might have done if you were playing around with the problem in your own. So let's apply this method to the rest of the questions. A little observation, interesting things only happen at junctions because if you're like over here, you're pretty much copying the answer over and over. So I'm going to animate the rest of this for you. and. This may seem like a daunting number of calculations, but in reality, this is a lot less than if you try to like systematically list every single path. And as you can see, uh, we have our answer, which is 36. And this is the official answer, and it's correct. Um, so last question, uh, do you know something? Well, I certainly did not um, until very recently. But this is actually the same exact same grid that we had before. So what we, can what we can just do is copy our answers that we had before, and this makes us not. This allows us to like save even more calculations and arrive at the correct answer of seventy four, which is the official solution. So that was an example of dynamic programming. And if you want to learn more about this technique in general. Um, you, you can pause and read through the slides uh, if you want. Either way, um, that was the problem and thank you for watching.